May AT Anna ask Tinimbu security agencies to arrest Yoruba activists Sunday Igboho over alleged threats to Fundani people. May AT Anna ask Tinimbu security agencies to arrest Yoruba activists Sunday Igboho over alleged threats on Fulanis. Some weeks ago, Sunday Igboho came to Nigeria to bury his mother. Now it has been reported that he has returned back finally, that he is not going back. Not that it has been reported. He himself categorically stated that, that he is not going anywhere. Now, one of the statements he made that very day was that his people should never wait for security agencies or government to fight insecurity and all those Fundani terrorists in the bush. That he himself is going to take the responsibility to wipe them away. Now, after that, the following day, the Nigerian soldier now gave a statement that it is something good for someone to come out and say they want to help them to fight insecurity. But that if uh, Sunday who want to help them to fight insecurity, that he must ally with them, give them information and not doing things, you know, on his own. But how can someone be giving Nigerian military information working with them? And the insecurity challenges has been in Nigeria for decades. So what stops Nigerian army to carry out their, you know, work and fish out these terrorists and wipe them away? So if someone said he's going to fight the terrorists and you come out to say, no, don't do that unless you work with us, does it make sense? It doesn't make sense because you have been there and you have not been able to do this. That is not the problem. Now, the Meiti Anna has come out to ask the federal government and the security agencies to arrest Sunday Boho. This is a stupid state, a statement. This is a statement that doesn't make sense at all. Because you cannot come out to begin to call for his arrest. And one thing I want all this uh, military under to understand is that 2019 is different from today. Everything has changed. So things are not the way it is before. It is the right of everyone to defend him or herself. Because it is clear, it is obvious. I know our security agencies, to their own capacity, they have tried. Despite the politicians we have is sabotaging them. So this so, is the details of the article from Shara Reporters. It reads, Meiti and the Kato Breeders Association of Nigeria has called for the arrest of the chief Sunday Adeyamo, popularly known as Sunday Ibohom, a Yoruba self-determination activist for allegedly threatening Fundani in a video. Does he really threaten them? Absolutely no. Sunday Ibohom threatened the terrorists, but he did not threaten them. Let me continue to the next paragraph. It says, Shara Reporters reported on Monday that Igboho has told his supporters and loyalists not to wait for the government's intervention before taking steps to fight the Fulani herders who are, de who are denying local farmers from accessing their farmland in the southwest region. He had said, this is our domain. We should save ourselves from Fulani. We should put security in all your land. We did not need to wait for anybody, including the government. If we really mean business, we should not wait for the government or else Fulani will carry all our lands. We should be united. Which farm do we have again in Yoruba land? Can we go to farm now? Now, out of context, let me say this. You see what is going on in Nigeria, this food insecurity and uh, scarcity, the inflation. The major problem that is causing it is because farmers in major parts of Nigeria, like Niger, some parts of the West, some parts of the South, South, the Northern, they are no longer going to farm because of insecurity. I think what the government is supposed to do is to put their own force and attention on insecurity so that when they curb the insecurity and do everything possible, farmers can return back to work. And farm. But if they did not stop insecurity, no matter how you try to stabilize the dollar and so on and so forth, the people will be hungry. Let me ask you, so many things that gone up when the dollar was, you know, rising above the Naira, when the Naira was depreciating. For past one week now, I think Naira has regained some strength. Did you see any commodity reducing? Absolutely no. To tell you that our problem is not only dollar. Our problem is that we can't even farm what we will eat any longer, not because we are incompetent or we don't have the capacity to farm, but it is because our farmland has been saved by all these Fundani men. And this is what Sunday Boho was talking about. So let me read the next uh, paragraph. It says, Igboho had claimed that the people of the Southwest should unite to create a regional security force that protects them from incessant Fundani herders' attack on their farmland adding that his pursuit for the actualization of Yoruba nation will be done legally. Yes. 
Another thing I want to talk about here, you see, um, when Akarodo was alive, may he so rest in peace, this um, governor of the state that passed, he was the one that took courage to form Amatokun. I still insist that Amatokun have tried, but they can't do this alone. Because which type of gun are they carrying? Shoot and run? You can't use that one to face with people who are having AK-47, all these new generation rifles. You can't use it to face them. So these people also need a force that will match their own force. And Amatoku or any security force you are going to create cannot match that. Because the federal government will not allow them to carry sophisticated weapons. So that is what I want to say about the paragraph. Now, he stated that um, he was willing to engage with the government to discuss lawful ways to pursue his cause. In other words, this man means business. No going back to Yoruba nation. And I tell you, this is the only thing that could save Nigeria. If we have regions, or we let us just go our separate ways, or let us form a confederation, let everybody have their own security architecture, then um, let everyone have their own security, let everyone also control their resources, and let just maybe little things like football and so on and so forth join us together. Let only football, music, and few things let us stop all these things we are doing because at the end, it is to the detriment of the people of Nigeria. And without the people, there is no Nigeria. So let us not look at that name, Nigeria. Nigeria is nothing without Nigerians. So the emphasis, the strength, the attention should be focused and placed on Nigeria people who are the reason why Nigeria is existing. Now, on Friday, a news report said that the Nigerian military expressed its readiness to work with the Yoruba TV Sunday at the Yamo to flush bandits terrorizing people out of the forest and highway in the southwest Nigeria. Major General Edward Buba, spokesman of the Defense Media Operation, stated this in a viral video seen by a news correspondent, adding that any action taken by Buhu without the involvement of the military forces and other security agencies in the country will be considered unconstitutional. That uh, was what I was saying. That is what I was saying from the beginning of this video, that army said they want to work with Ibuhu, but army has been accused of complicity with all these terrorists. Come on, how is that possible? It's not going to be possible. Once you want to work with a soldier, I don't think he will achieve the aim why he wanted to fight the insecurity. Now, reacting to Ibuhu's in a statement by the MACBAN, a national president, Baba Atman, Ngezama, the military under, called for his arrest and prosecution for making treasonable statements. Ngezama said that Igbo's bold proclamation sent shockwaves through the community, prompting swift reaction from various quarters, adding that his call for the actualization of Odudua nation amounted to treasonable felony. All these military under have started again. Now, what they are saying is that they are afraid from Igbo's statement. So, if you are doing something that is illegal, taking people's farm, why should you be afraid of that? You should be ready for the consequences as well. And they said him calling for the Dua Republic is treasonable. See, let me say this because a lot of Nigerians are ignorant to what self-determination means. A lot of Nigerians are ignorant to what um, referendum means. They, they just believe that when you are calling for a referendum or self-determination, meaning that uh, you are just uh, trying to do something that is against the law. They said they should charge you for treasonable felony. That is not true. That is why federal government is stuck within the Carlos case now because they don't know what to do again. Because the guy did not do anything wrong. Self-determination is never against any law. So let this thing sink to people who are thinking that this is not legal. Now, the statement partly reads, we call on the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Tinumbo GCFR, and relevant security agencies to arrest and prosecute Sunday Bo for making this unlawful statement that amounts to treason because he is asking for actualization of Odudua nation. Shame on to you. You, this president of uh, uh, Meiti and shame on to you. Ignorant. Ignorant is bad. So, who told you that if someone is calling for the actualization of Odudua Republic, that it is illegal? Where do you find that? I think it is important we begin to educate ourselves that if someone is um, calling for self-determination, that it is not a crime. It is very important we start spreading this uh, message. Now, his statements are unlawful. Even Namdekano will be held behind bars for a similar offense. 
we see no reason why Sunday Igboho will be allowed to go scot free without being arrested and prosecuted. This is what we are saying. Now, Mieti Anda is now saying that they should arrest Sunday Igbo because Enandekano is held. They don't know that Enandekano is being held unlawful. It's an unlawful detention. Supreme Court have said that. It's an unlawful detention. Now, let's wait for what is going to happen on this month 19 when Enandekano will go to the court for his um, bending. Now, they also emphasize the need for law and order, denouncing any form of vigilantism or ethnic profanity, stressing that individuals should be held accountable for their action regardless of their ethnic and religious background. So that is the article from it. Let me know what you think about this, because I think I'm going to do more video about self-determination and referendum. It is important to educate ourselves because of what we have seen and how people think that anyone who is calling for insecurity, who is calling for, sorry, self uh, um, self-determination or a new country we amount to insecurity or felony no it is never so so let me know what you think let your opinion count on the comment section